Hey everyone, welcome back to Coffee and Bible Time. I'm Ash. I'm here to help you guys learn how to delight in God's word. Today, I'm so excited to be talking with you guys about this cutie patootie right here. It's a new way I have been learning how to memorize scripture. A bunch of you guys uh, recommended me to teach you guys how to do this after showing you little clips of it on Instagram. Our Instagram is at Coffee and Bible Time. So keep watching if you want to see how I have been memorizing scripture. Before we get into the video, I want to show you guys something really quick. Just the um, resources, the tools that we have for you guys at, on our website at Coffee and Bible Time. If any of you guys are new here, we have cute tote bags and these I love carrying to church. I carry all my quiet time stuff or my Bible and my pens and stuff in it and my quiet time stuff. Um, but we have our prayer journals which a lot of you guys don't realize how huge they are. They're actually pretty giant. Um, but in here have prayers from years upon years. God's faithfulness I have been able to record. So go check out some of our products. We also have, let me show you, a pencil pouch. So it's super cute. So yeah, we just have a collection of Bible studies, prayer journals, stuff on our website. <laughs> stuff on our website to help you guys just have fun in your quiet times. So I wanted to tell you guys, before I fully get into telling you guys about this, how I learned about this. And I learned about this from one of my closest friends who is currently a missionary right now. She's on the missions field and she was telling me, oh, actually she showed this on her Instagram one day. Um, not specifically this book, but just this method on how to memorize scripture. And I was blown away. I was like, I need to start doing that. So I started doing it and it has been tremendously helpful in my memorizing journey. Um, so I'm just so thankful to her for giving me this tip. Also, if you guys didn't know, we support missionaries at Coffee and Bible Time. We love to support missionaries with part of our income. And so she's one of the missionaries that we support. So again, that's why you guys should go buy things on our store and just support us, become Patreons, things like that. It just helps us and it helps missionaries. So, um, but I don't know if any of you guys remember, we did a memorizing challenge last summer and it was memorizing the book of James. How did you guys do with that? Comment down below, let me know. Were you guys a part of that? Maybe you're newer here, or maybe you tried and didn't really work out. Maybe it was too hard. Um, here's an update. Last summer, I tried memorizing James. I got through James 1, and I think there's either four or five books in the book of James, in the book of James. Four, four no, four or five chapters. That's what I meant to say. There's not four books in there. Anyways, so I was trying to memorize the chapters in James. I memorized one full chapter. Um, my goal was to memorize the whole book of James, but I got through one chapter. I am not saying that I that was a failure. I think that was still a success because at least I memorized something. And for you, if you were not able to memorize the whole book of James, if you struggle with memorizing and you never can complete your goals, it's okay. At least you are getting into scripture. At least you are trying to memorize. So I think this summer I'm going to make it my goal to continue memorizing James. If you guys want me to do something with you guys, like let's memorize it together or if you want me to create resources with you please comment in the description let me know and I'll create things that can help us all do it together we can start a hashtag maybe we can start a Facebook group or an Instagram hashtag I don't know let me know in the comments what you want but let's get right into this little cutie patootie like I said it's a cutie patootie I love how small this thing is I have been traveling a lot and I've been just taking it with me for my quiet times. So sometimes I cannot take my whole Bible with me on airplanes, things like that. So I will literally bring this with me and it is so stinking amazing and small and beautiful. It's just so cute. I love cute things. Okay, also, do you guys want to name the mic? Because the mic always comes down and I need to get a new mic because it's broken. But what, what should we name? What should we name this guy? Henry? No, not Henry. What should we name him? Is it a boy or is it a girl? Let me know. Let's name the mic so that every time he makes an appearance, we can tell him to get out of the screen. So, what was I saying? What was I saying? What was I saying? I'm getting distracted. It's really cute. I was going on a rant about how cute this thing is. But anyways, how to actually do it. So actually, I'll leave this link in the description. I think it's from Amazon. So 
I will have it linked in the description. Um, okay, but how we do it. So in here, what I do is I'll, I'm starting with James 1, I'm memorizing a whole book of James right now, and you just start with verse one and you start writing the first letter of each word. And so by doing the first letter of each word, you're not writing out the whole word on there because that will just give it away when you're trying to memorize it, it would be too easy. But you're just writing the first letter so that when you're going through memorizing it, if you get stuck, you can just look at the letter and say, oh yeah, James, a servant of God and of the Lord Jesus Christ to the 12 tribes in the dispersion, greetings. And then you go on to verse two and then you just do that for the whole thing. It's literally as easy as that. and. It is so amazing. I love doing this. So that is pretty much how I memorize the book of James. That's how I'm memorizing. It is so fun to have it in this cute little thing. Every single quiet time, I'm not doing an in-depth Bible study. I'm sometimes not doing intense Bible study every morning. Sometimes if I wake up and I'm really tired and I feel like I can't even open my eyeballs, I will grab this and I will start memorizing. So again, you guys, let me know if you want to be more intentional. I did have someone actually ask a question that said, why would you memorize a whole book? So the reason I would memorize a whole book of scripture is because I think there is value in memorizing Bible verses. I think that's great, like individual Bible verses. But the downside of that is you're taking that verse out of context and you just know that verse. Whereas if you know scripture within its context, within the book that it's written, you will, you will just find so much more richness and beauty to that verse and it will penetrate your heart better when you know it within the context of what it was written. So to me, it's more benef beneficial in my life to memorize a whole book. Also, I just learn so much more when I have the whole book that I'm memorizing. I can see connecting points within the book and I feel like I just learn God's word in a whole new way when I memorize books rather than just individual verses. Um, like I said, I don't think memorizing individual verses is wrong or anything. That's just why I memorize in books. Okay, I think that's all I have for you guys today. If this video is beneficial to you, please share with a friend. Short, simple, sweet. I love you guys and I hope you have a wonderful day. See ya.